Good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get right to your read. What are the messages for Sag? Sagittarius, please. Sag. Sagittarius. Thank you guys for all your likes, your subs, and your comments. I truly appreciate it, Sagittarius. Helps me pick up on your energies. So thank you so much for doing so. What's going on, Sagittarius? Sag. Messages for Sagittarius. Fire. Ooh, strong emotions. Someone needs a helping hand. Someone's in need of help. Uh, November is important. Plenty of material things, Sagittarius. Hmm. Someone is sly as a fox here. Someone's got their eye on your material wealth, Sagittarius. archway an angel you may have started something new Sagittarius you're being guided toward success you're being very successful at something that you did or something you're doing a new opportunity Good luck, good fortune, Satch, with the horseshoe. It's looking like somebody needs a help in hand here. Hmm. Oh. Because somebody broke their bridge with you. Hmm. like burnt their bridge you know Saj okay somebody might be ill a period of depression or ill health the bridge they're feeling unsuccessful Saj Hmm. Somebody's burnt their bridge with you, Saj. That's what it's saying. Could have happened in a November, or November is significant. Something may have happened to this person in November. You're sitting here with peace and harmony, and you've got the torch lit. Spiritual developments, enlightenments, awareness, and understanding. This person is broken. They're not getting their wishes fulfilled. They're not. Oh, it's because they're dealing with a shark. Maybe they are a shark. Oh, hang on, Saj. Maybe somebody's feeling like they've burned their bridge with you, Saj. Could be a Leo. What's going on? We've got the scales of justice saying a new romantic cycle could be getting. Huh. Her 
personal issue reaches resolution with the full moon in Cancer, we are quickly um, it's trying to take action. You could be having um, <clears throat> strong emotions here. Jesus, Sagittarius. We're almost approaching cancer season. Let's see. What is the advice here? Powerful change will transform your life. The wheel turning in your favor. Keep going. Forgiveness sets you free. It keeps you from hanging on to what was never meant to be. Despite the frustration, you're on your way to making your dreams come true. Be willing to let go of everything you thought to be true learn when to say no so don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone i think someone has burnt their bridge with you sagittarius i mean you may forgive them but i think someone has burnt their bridge with you sagittarius Again, that freaking sly fox. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters. You, mm, this is independent. If you're not self-employed, it may be a time to have an entrepreneurial mindset. Consider investing and committing yourself to your own business. You can do it all. Stand alone. Whoa. See how that card flew out in reverse? That's the offering in reverse. This person is losing a lot of money here. Easy does it. Slow and steady wins the race. They may have rushed into doing something and it's not working out. What's going on? Well, you've got, look at all this, recognition and growth in money. Good news concerning money matters. Raise a new job offer. Many will start flowing into your business. Promising opportunities are awaiting. Your money is looking good and solid. Whatever you're working on right now will gain you the respect of others you could earn a leadership position or get the recognition that you deserve. Next level. You have the ability to motivate others. Strive to uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being with Motivation, a motivational speaker. You've learned much about money and it is time to put it into practice. 
you're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain that they will soon. There's a chance of something in the air. This person is looking to be rescued. They're in financial problems, Sag, and it's looking like they need a helping hand. This is an um, indication that your career or your finances could take a giant leap forward. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything to do with finance. You could expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. Hmm. Sagittarius. Could be real estate, Sagittarius. Pieces here. Harmony. The Empress Energy. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, it's the best financial card that you could get. That is the fruits of your labor paying off. This is a lot of abundance. This is loving and nurturing, bringing the seeds of something that is planted into fruition. It's here. Hmm. There is much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched out by someone very kind, Sag. A situation has ended and you're finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. The star. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So Sagittarius, it's in all the cards. In the tea leaves. In the financial deck. In the archangel deck. All saying the same thing. Now, that's maybe why November showed up. Scorpio season. Maybe this is the endings, transformation, new beginnings that you're, that they are referring to. That uh, could be when this person burnt their bridge with you, started breadcrumbing you, and give you the merchant the merchant. <clears throat> so maybe this person is a merchant. Maybe this person is a merchant and was giving their finances away, not knowing how to say no to people. Someone very shrewd. Someone was thinking that someone was very shrewd. Look at this. What are you talking about? So there are two masculines here. 
a king of swords and a king of wands. They may have gotten some financial advice from someone or the fact that they may have been investing in someone who they thought was wise, shrewd with business. Hmm. It could have been a financial decision that they were trying to make. Yes, it was. Oh my Jesus. We've got three kings here. So this person was getting advice from someone who they trusted, someone who they thought was good with money, someone who they thought, or someone who they just trusted, okay? It's to do with investments. And this person might have got involved with a group of people or is involved in some sort of business investments, listening to these other masculines about what to do with their money. It is about a business. Hmm. This person was taking advice from someone about a business. A business, somebody telling this, okay, there's three masculines, you take your pick. Now they were juggling something to do with business partnerships here in business or romance the lovers does not have to be lovers they were taking advice from somebody this is a family business maybe they are a merchant Maybe they were getting advice on financial advice about um, its financial investments. And they're hurt. <laughs> what? And they're angry with their decision. They rushed in to something and got hurt. So this person rushed into something to do with finances, uh, the, a partnership, um, a business partnership, and it's ended. Or it's dying. They're stressed out and they're worried because they got manipulated into some kind of something to do with This is a business deal. They're hurt. They're angry that something ended. They're stressed out. They feel manipulated out of their 
Uh, I'm not sure yet. So someone very shrewd again. I think that this person... Oh, Jesus. Someone got greedy here. Someone's getting really greedy here. Okay, this is absolutely nothing to do with Sagittarius. I don't even know why it's here. This has got something to do with their life, their situation. You're just over here collecting a lot of money, getting recognition, promotions. Uh, you may have started a new business. You might be doing really, really well, Sagittarius. What in the fuck is going on? They're angry. They're hurt. They feel manipulated, controlled. I don't know if this is like... It's about finances. Sagittarius, you are on the rise here, Sagittarius. You have taken a leap of faith. Wait a sec here. There is you. Knowing your worth and your value, you've taken a leap of faith, Sagittarius. You're moving in silence, okay? You're keeping your personal financial matters to yourself about what you're doing. The leap of faith that you're taking, you're being silent to your Sag. You're not discussing your finances with people. You're not discussing your life with certain people. And Sagittarius, you're going for something, this new opportunity, this new financial investment or getting a promotion or raise or the recognition that you deserve. You're looking at a bright future, Sagittarius. You're looking toward the future. You're excited. You're going for something. Something new is occurring in your life, a new investment, a new home, uh, real estate purchases, whatever. You're excited about something, Sag. You're working on something and maybe you're working on something with your own children, your own family, your own stuff. Look, there's a lot of silence here. You're keeping your finances a secret, Satch. You're not discussing what you're doing with other people. Your wish is being granted. You've got good luck and good fortune here. This is a favorable change, a change for the better. And you're keeping tight-lipped, Sag, about your finances and what you're doing. You've had to learn to say no to certain people. Someone's getting really freaking greedy here. They're pinching their pennies. They may have gotten involved, okay, with a group of people on a financial endeavor. This is this masculine talking to a couple of other masculines. And then this other energy gets involved who is a freaking greedy manipulator. This is a somebody wanting to collect the debt or wanting something that this person has okay 
wanting their possessions, wanting, trying to manipulate them out of their uh, insurance, their pensions, their business. This could be 40, but like this Queen of Swords is manipulating. This Queen of Swords is the one manipulating. So they're talking. These people are all talking. There could be like a husband-wife team and a brother or a nephew or an uncle or something like that. It is about investments. Long-term investments. So this is either retirement this is either um, real estate or uh, they are a merchant. They're coming off as a merchant. So they may sell things. They might, and someone is getting greedy. This could be their ex-wife. This could be their current wife. This could be whoever. And this masculine is talking to these other masculines about it and going, Let's make a deal here. I got to make a deal here. I need help here. Help me out here. Uh, Ex-wife might be getting greedy. Ex-wife might be wanting, they get, they're they like being deep pockets here. Um, somebody is angry and hurt that this business deal is fucking up. And someone's over here with their hand out, manipulating. Come on, give me, give me your possessions. Give me your car. Give me your house. Give me your part of your business or something like that. And they turn down the offer. They're like, no fucking way. They're angry. They're hurt. Um... They're standing their ground. They're like, no fucking way. I ain't budging. I ain't budging. So is this something to do? Ooh. What? Oh, all these people are talking about you, Sagittarius. Someone could be accusing you of being greedy. Accusing you of of being manipulative, accusing you of some fucking thing. Or they were trying to protect you, Saj. One or the other. Somebody, it's saying somebody is looking out for you. Yes. A knight of Ariel is looking out for you. Someone trustworthy, someone understanding, devoted, and funny. There is much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. You're being watched over by someone very kind, Sagittarius. Someone is looking out for you, Sag. It's a knight of Ariel. Someone's protecting you, Saj. Tr someone trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. Why are all these people having a good fucking chit chat about Sagittarius? There's a king of wands, a king of swords, a king of cups, a queen of swords, manipulating, talking shit here. And, and someone's defending you. Someone is defending you, Sag. Speaking up. Someone is in defense of you.
Hmm. Someone's like, I'm not interested in what you got to say. I'm not interested in what you have to say about Sagittarius. I don't want to know. I'm not interested. Just say no. This person is saying no. That's what they're saying. That's a no card. I'm saying no. Not happening. I'm defending this impress. It could be a Cancerian. Someone is very manipulative with their words. Someone is trying to manipulate a king of cups here. It could be a Cancerian, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's saying, look, talk to this cancer sign. They can get it out of Sagittarius. Oh, this Queen of Swords is saying to this Cancerian, it is a cancer. I, I'm trying to, to get away with without saying it but it's here so this queen of swords is saying oh come on they're putting somebody else up to hitting you up about something hitting you up for money or hitting you up for something they're going nope they're protecting you they're very protective over you this king of cups they're very warm they're very gentle they're very funny they're very understanding and devoted to Sagittarius. This could be one of your own children or a family member. They're like, no. No, I am protecting this Empress. Somebody's trying to hit somebody else up to approach you about something sad. Somebody is hitting they're to, this King of Wands is talking to the King of Swords, thinking that this Cancerian sign has more influence over you, Sag. But they're very protective over you. So somebody's uh, talking shit, trying to get this Cancerian to manipulate you to... Um, do something or give them something and they're saying no what they protected you this Cancerian protects, is protecting you. This Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they are primarily showing up as a Cancerian. We got Gemini here trying to manipulate this Cancerian sign in order to hurt you or to get into your wallet somehow. And this Cancerian is going, nope, I'm protecting the Empress. Hmm. Ooh. This person loves you. Now, it doesn't have to be a romantic love. It could be. But it's because you're abundant, Sag. The universe is blessing you with a bunch of abundance. These are your gifts. This is 
strong emotions right now, Saj. Somebody could have trying to cause you a tower or tried to this person is devoted they're like no you can trust this person you can trust this person whoever this person is Somebody's trying to hit up this Cancerian to do something to you. Or this is someone who is very loving and warm. They're hurt. They're hurt. They're hurt that these other three people are trying to hurt you, Sag, or get in your wallet or something. This King of Cups is hurt that the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords are trying to manipulate them into getting something from you. Instead, they said, no, I'm not going to hurt this empress. I am, I'm saying no, I'm not hurting them. I am not going to do this to the empress. And I'm not going to let you do this to the empress. And walked away. Or these people are talking shit about you and someone's standing up for you. Someone is uh, standing up for you, Saj. They're saying sorry and walked away. This is a teacher. A mentor and it could be a teacher what the fuck is this trying to cause fear cause someone to be stuck This cancer is telling the truth. This cancer is being honest. This cancer is speaking the frickin' truth. Justice. That's how the read started out. A new romantic cycle begins. This Cancerian has been honest. This Cancerian is telling the truth. And I'm hearing loud and clear it is a Cancer. And it could be one of your children. Or someone could be a Leo. This is a strong, uh, a strong to 
is a strong child. I'm sorry, but they are. They're courageous. Could be a Leo with the sun and the strength. Someone devoted. A new romantic cycle begins. After a period of ill health. Oh, Jesus. Rest and recovery. Ooh. Strong emotions. So someone promising you a new romantic cycle is beginning. This is wish fulfillment. Your wish is coming true after a period of ill health and mourning. Just say no. Hmm. They're saying, whoever this energy is, it could be a deceased uh, loved one who has passed away. You're getting high honor, respect here. They're saying to keep your finances quiet. What you're working on and what you're doing. Because there is a lot of hidden enemies here. Ooh. Just say no. Someone wants to call you, text you, or something, but there's something hidden in behind that. Someone may need a helping hand and this person is telling you, just say no. They're protecting you. The merchant.
someone's a thief. The fuck is going on? These same three people. It's like they want to come in. Someone is stealing from um, a business. Stealing it and giving it to these three people. The Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. Or this Emperor. It's like somebody is stealing business funds. Ten of Swords. I don't... Someone's looking out for you. Looking out for your business. Looking out for your... Someone's watching over your family. Someone's in need of help. Because this person's family members are stealing something from their business. Somebody is stealing something from their business or something like that. And they're in need of help. And whoever this person is that's looking out for you is saying, just say no. This is to do with this family business. Whoever this Cancerian is, they are butt hurt. They could be the ones that are looking out for you and telling you when this person comes back, they're in need of help. And they're like, Just say no. Keep your uh, financial business to yourself. Because it's like somebody in this group wants to hit you up, Sagittarius. But they plan on stealing. Okay? They do. They plan on stealing from you. Or doing worse to you. And... Whoever this protective energy is, could be son, brother, father, uncle, whatever, is telling you, 
just say no. They're going to hit you up for something. Somebody's going to ask you for something. They need a helping hand. Just say no. Because there's some shit going on. Uh, that you should not trust. This Cancerian does not trust this emperor, this Cancerian does not trust these other people that are involved. And they're saying, if you give this person money to help them out with their business, they could be hard up, you know, help them out with their business. It's going straight to the garment. This is someone very toxic. And if they might be, this is like, okay, I know these people are going, I know Sagittarius isn't going to trust me. I know Sagittarius isn't going to trust me. So let's hit up someone that's close to Sag to get to Sag. And this person is saying, just say no because they're up to no good. This person might be deceased. And they're saying, just say no because they can see what's going on, what we can't see. Especially if they're like a ghost. You know what I mean? They know shit and they've been looking out for you. They're saying just say no because whatever you give is going direct to feed whoever this is. This is the merchant. It could be going to feed someone's addiction or going to feed someone's um, whoever this one is, they're hurt that these three people are, are trying to conjure up some kind of fucking plan here. A new romantic cycle begins so Sag just say no because this person is up to no good they're kind of uh, running low on funds they're got involved it's like you would be feeding not just one mouth but you'd be feeding like one two three three or more mouths would by whatever you give to this situation they're very greedy they're saying they're greedy. This could be someone in your family. And it's like... They don't have good intentions, Sagittarius. They're saying, say no and keep your finances a secret. They're telling you someone new is coming in. A new romantic cycle begins. your family like your direct I'm not saying your whole family I'm just saying um, if you've got children say your prayers for your kids give them strength And 
just say no. these three people. If this person is in alive, then you'll know who they are. If they're deceased, you're going to know who they are. Some of them are deceased and some are not. Because you've got so many different Sagittarians watching these reads that take it as it resonates. Yeah. Somebody is in a period of ill health, is in need of a helping hand, they have broken some kind of bridge and spirits saying to keep the bridge broken because there are sharks in the water here. Forgive, but that don't mean you got to mend fences. bridge has been burnt. Keep it there. That's what this read is saying. If the bridge is burnt, leave it burnt. Don't rebuild. Start anew. is in need of a helping hand but they're surrounded by sharks or they're a shark themselves take care <laughs> 